In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how we can connect our GUI to our database. So in this case, we have a simple GUI like this, and we can insert a message. So this is our message, and we want to insert this message by clicking on this button in our database. So let's see how we can do this. So let's go to the database file like this. Then we are going to import our SQLite database like this. Then we will create the function. We will call it create table. And inside this function, we will connect to the database. So we are going to say connection equal to SQLite, which is our module in this case, dot connect. And we will create a database file. I will call it, for example, messages.db, since it is a database file. Then we will create a cursor object like this so we can interact with the database, for example, creating tables, inserting data, updating data, deleting data, and so on. Then we are going to say cursor.execute, triple quotations like this, and inside the triple quotations, write your query. So we are going to say create table if not exists and the name of the table, which is messages in this case. And we are saying if not exists, because if we run this query multiple times, this table messages will be created multiple times and you will get an error. Thus, we are saying if not exists. And in this table messages, we will create two columns. The first one is message ID and the second one is message content. The data type of this column message ID will be integer. Also, it will be a primary key. And by specifying a column to be integer primary key like this, this column will be auto increment and the data type of message content will be text like this. Then we are going to commit, meaning that we will save the changes to the database and we will close the connection. Now we will create the function insert message, which will be responsible for inserting the message in the database. This function will take one parameter, which is message. We will connect again to our database, create a cursor object. Then we will say cursor.execute insert into messages which is the name of the table message content which is the column so you will insert in this column values then one placeholder like this since we want to insert in one column then we will create a tuple like this and inside this tuple we will write our message which is this parameter again we will commit the changes and close the connection now at the end, we will call this function, which is create table. So by running this file, our table will be created in the database. So we are going to say create table like this. Now let's go to the main file and we will say import database like this. So we can use the functions in our database file, which is this file. Now let's create this function. We will create the function insert. And we are going to say message equal to message entry dot get, meaning that we will get the text written inside this entry box. Then we will say if message, meaning that if this entry box is not empty, we will say database, which is this module, database dot insert message, which is this function. And we will pass to this function message, which is the text written inside this entry box. And after inserting in the database, we will say message entry dot delete zero till end, meaning that we will clear the entry box and we will show a message box saying message has been inserted to the database. Else, meaning that if this entry box is empty, we will show please enter a message. OK. Now let's go to the submit button and we will simply say command equal to insert, which is this function. So by clicking on this button, this insert function will be executed. Now let's run. So as you see by running, a database will be created like this. Let's enter a message. We are getting please enter a message. Now let's say for example, hello and welcome. Let's submit. Message has been inserted to the database. Let's say for example, hello and insert message has been inserted to the database okay now let's see our database after inserting the two messages we will use sqlite viewer in this case let's choose our database file which is messages.db and as you see we have our two messages like this